Hello again. Today's project is an ink tense picture of my dog Tochi. I was going to try and do the entire picture using ink tense blocks and a brush, but the reference image I used was zoomed out so much that I wouldn't be able to provide enough detail with the brush. So I added details with my new set of Lyra Rembrandt colored pencils. I'm using the 72 set of ink tense blocks which really give you a lot of color options. For this drawing, I'm probably only using a third of those colors. I start out filling in patches of the fur using baked earth. I also use this for exposed rock sections and I use the willow for darker ground sections. I've used this Sicilian yellow, which is kind of like a cream color for other parts of her fur. For the orange patches of fur, I've used golden yellow, sienna gold, and cadmium orange. Later on, you'll see I use Irish blue and uh, white for shaded sections of the white fur. So I've mixed the two colors together just to lighten up the blue a bit. I've also used Irish blue for the sky. For the trees, I've used a range of greens, apple green being the lightest, field green, beach green, Hooker's Green, now I don't make these colors up, I'm just reading the names from the chart. Felt Green, Light Green, sorry, Light Olive, which is actually pretty dark. Then little bits of uh, Spring Green and Leaf Green. For darker sections of the trees, I use Dark Chocolate. I've also used a series of uh, dark colors for the black sections of fur. And also for the eyes, I've used uh, sepia ink, India ink, Chinese ink, charcoal gray, neutral gray, and ink black. And to lighten any sections, I have used the antique white. Now, my goal was to try and have Tochi stand out from the background and really catch the, the viewer's eye so they don't focus on the background and notice how badly I painted in the trees. Uh, a note to myself... Don't take a photo with a lake in the background, since dealing with the reflection adds a lot more work. Now you might ask why even have a background? This could have been a close-up. I was using my good camera and lens, um, but I really wanted to spend some time experimenting with trees and using the ink inktense blocks, and uh, this was a good opportunity. I've used my new 24 set of Lyra Rembrandt polycolor pencils to add in the details for the eyes and the face, as well as details on the fur and just kind of clean things up a bit. I chose the Lyra because I figured I could sharpen them to nice sharp tips for detail, and I could. From ongoing light fast tests, they appear to be reasonably light fast which would allow me to display this somewhere without fear of it fading too much. I also use the pencils to even out the sky a bit more, hide some of those brush marks, as well as on the green. And typical using ink tents, and it's basically they're like a watercolor. Um, I'll usually work on one section, and for in this case, Tochi. And uh, while I'm waiting for that section to dry, I'll move on to a different section. I'll work on the background and then I might let it sit for a while. Uh, you can also blow dry the paper. I enjoy working with the ink tents. Watercolor tends to make you take more breaks because you're waiting for the paper to dry. Of course, I still need a lot more practice using a brush. And I hope I can work on a few simple drawings to perfect some techniques. Now you're probably thinking, this dog doesn't look anything like the dog I showed in the beginning of the video. That's because he wasn't Tochi. Tochi is a Shikoku Inu, or also known as a Japanese wolf dog. This is what she normally looks like, at least when she is awake. Most of the time, she looks more like this, or this. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, 
If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it, and please subscribe. I hope to be back in a few weeks with another video.